Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel if you're new around here. Hi, my name is Madeline, and I am so happy that you're here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. If you cannot tell, I am currently in my parents' house right now. I am home this weekend. Um, Ian has a ceremony thing I'm going to go watch, so I am home, and I just got out of the shower, if you cannot tell, and I am just cooking some breakfast, and we are getting ready to leave. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed this morning and getting my nails done, so... We are going to be doing that. I have a super exciting unboxing though. I have a package from Bondi Boost and I did a partnership with them on Instagram and they sent me the wave wand. I am so, so excited, except I don't know how to open it. <gasps> da, 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 da. I might use this for my hair tomorrow. I'm so excited. I have wanted this wave wand for literally forever and then I partnered with them and now I have it. So. I wanted to buy it anyway, so I'm just super stoked that I didn't have to buy it and they sent it to me. Bondi Boost, if you guys see this, thank you so much. I love you guys. So excited to use this. This is a lot bigger than I thought. Ooh, and it's like black glitter. And you just wave the hair. Yeah, I'll probably use this tomorrow to do my hair for Ian's little, um, ceremony thing I'm going to tomorrow, but thank you, Bondi Boost. I have another exciting little box or package. I got a Stanley cup, super basic. I know I got it in pink and I am so excited. These are like all over TikTok right now. And I actually just messed up my water cup the other day at bar. I dropped it in the parking lot and it like scuffed the crap out of the side of it. So I needed a new water cup anyway. So this just kind of worked out perfectly that I wanted this anyways. They are in stock at Target. Um, they are really hard to find on the website and they're cheaper at Target. So if you want a Stanley cup, I highly recommend checking out Target's website. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check on my breakfast. I have some eggs and chicken sausage cooking and we have Winnie back here with us. Winnie, can you say hi to the camera? Winnie was so mad at me earlier because I was going to pick her up and she farted and I laughed at her. After your toot. She was really, really mad at me. I think she was embarrassed. It was so funny. So I made you a sandwich, a peanut butter sandwich, and now you're happy with me again. You like me now. Again. But when he's finally home from nurt nurturing, is that the word? Her puppies. So we finally have her back in our house. So this is the brekkie. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this real quick, and then we are gonna head on up for my eyebrow and nail appointment. Right, Winnie? Can you sit, Winnie? Winnie, sit. Good girl. Has to be right on top of me at all times. All right, so I just got in the car to leave, and I feel so sad and guilty for leaving Winnie. She just got home Tuesday from her puppies, and I just got home from school, so she hasn't seen me in a while. And I just feel so guilty for leaving her there. I don't know why. I feel so sad, but I'm going to pick her up some treats and get her a cookie, so she'll forgive me. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head on up to my eyebrow appointment, and then we will head on over and get our nails done. So I just made it to my eyebrow appointment, and I drank all my coffee. There's a coffee shop downstairs here, but I've never been to it. But I kind of wanted to get coffee in the coffee shop in my hometown, which is like the next town over. So I don't know if I want coffee now or if I want to wait and get it from town. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and head on in these things. They're gnarly. They really need done. I used to like rarely ever go until they got super bad. But my cousin does my eyebrows. And every time I got them done, she was always like. So I've been trying to go more often when I'm home every uh two three months ish i can't remember the last time i went actually but yeah i'm gonna go in and get these bad boys taken care of and get my nails done i don't know what color i want yet i'm thinking like light pink 
I always get stuff that color though. I love neutrals and pinks, so that's probably what I'll end up getting, but I haven't decided yet. It's so cold outside, you guys. It's 37 degrees. It was snowing this morning. It was warmed up a little bit. And it's April Fool's Day, so that was God's little like April Fool's joke on us, making it snow for a little bit, and then it quit. So, I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and head on in, and I will show you guys my brows when they're done. Okay, so I just made it to the mall where I get my nails done, and here are the brows. They're looking a lot better now, thank goodness. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head on in, um, get my nails done. I'll show you guys what they look like when I'm done. All right, I just got out of the mall. This is the color I ended up going with. I wanted, in my head, I wanted more of a pastel pink, but I just chose this one, I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop for some coffee and then head on home and get some lunch. I don't really know what I want yet. I don't even know what we have at my parents' house right now. I'm currently at Miami to see Ian. Ian is getting Chipotle and I am waiting for him at his dorm right now. We went to TJ Maxx and I didn't even get anything, which is just so out of character for me. It's so, and then we are gonna watch the last two Harry Potter movies tonight. So super excited about that. I have a super rare appearance. I got Dunkin', which I never do, but I actually, I used to when I worked at TJ Maxx because it was across the road from a Dunkin', and the Dunkin' here has a drive-thru, and um, none of the Starbucks here have drive throughs so um, if I don't want to get out of my car, then, like, I'm going to get Dunkin'. I wanted, um, what are they called, Munchkins from Dunkin', and they were out of, like, all of their bakery items like all their donuts muffins munchkins all that stuff was out i do have his it's called a presidential review tomorrow and it's awards and they do some drill um i don't really know i've never been before i don't think it was like open for public last year because of covid so i'm just gonna sit here watch tiktok make tiktoks and just wait for Ian to get here what i did door dash mine why because they were out of you couldn't have gotten chicken? Ian just caught me filming TikToks. It was really cute, wasn't it? We're here at Ian's dorm. Miami University, baby. This beautiful dorm. This beautiful dorm. They were out of munchkins too at Dunkey. Isn't that no. sad? Because all these freaking college students are taking me everything. You're the college student. Counts with Chipotle. Ian's uh, sitting in his little chair. It won't focus on you. There you go. Where's your Chipotle? Where'd oh, it go? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. We're gonna watch. Too. We're gonna watch Friends while we eat. Oh, we are. We're gonna. Not... We're gonna make a TikTok, oh, and then we're gonna watch Harry Potter. Stop! Good God, man! You almost got the cheese touch. The what? The cheese touch. Nobody knows when or how, but one day that cheese mysteriously appeared on the blacktop. Nobody knew who it belonged to. Nobody touched it. Nobody threw it away. And so there it sat, growing more foul and powerful by the day. Then one day, a kid named Darren Walsh made the biggest mistake of his life. Darren touched the cheese! No, I didn't. I just looked at it. Really? Darren had the cheese touch. It was worse than nuclear cookies. He became an outcast. <laughs> Okay, y'all, good morning. My car is really loud right now because I'm trying to defrost my windows. Um, so hopefully I can kind of edit that out a little bit, but it's gonna be a little bit loud and I'm sorry. I am getting ready to leave for Ian's presidential review. And I used the Bondi Boost Wave Iron this morning and I love it. I just wish I had hair that naturally had big waves in it like this. So um, if you guys want, I will probably do a tutorial on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on there and keep your eyes peeled for that. Hey y'all, so it's been a hot minute since I last vlogged. I didn't get to get footage at Ian's presidential review. Um, I just had like kind of an awkward seat to record anything and all of the seats are super close together. So I was like smashed in between a bunch of people. So I did not get any videos or footage of that. As you can tell, I'm back at my apartment in Indy and I was gonna show you guys a grocery haul before I put all this stuff away. Got crispy rice, obviously. It's one of my favorite cereals for lunch this week. I just got some 
mesquite smoked turkey and heavy duck cheese. I was gonna make sandwiches. Stirring cheese to snack on. You guys know this is my favorite. For lunch today after church, um, mom bought potato salad from the grocery store and she let me have the rest of it. So freaking love potato salad. So I'm very excited. I got some everything bagels, gluten-free pretzels. These are the garlic and herb ones. They are so freaking good. I highly recommend them. Some syrup because we were out and I was gonna make protein waffles for breakfast this week. Bananas to put in some smoothies. Greek yogurts, frozen strawberries, little, they're gold and red mini potatoes. They're so yummy. Some frozen broccoli. And I used my Lulu bag as my grocery bag this week. So that is all I got from the grocery store. And I'm gonna put all that away, get my meal prep done and just, get ready and prepare for a new week. So I just thought I'd close out the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you all in next week's video.